Xin chào, welcome to Pilates with Hena. Today we're gonna do one hour fat loss semi cardio Pilates workout. I call it semi cardio, but it doesn't mean that it's gonna be less challenging. It's super challenging, so you guys have to complete it and let me know how it goes. I would love to hear it from you guys. And so if you're ready, just roll out your mat and let's burn some fat together. Alright, now let's start by allow yourself to sit tall with your back in neutral. Open your arms to the side and shoulders down. Lengthen your arms, start to rotate your arms here. And I want to inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And we're going to breathe like this throughout the class. So I want you to keep deep breathing. Inhale. And exhale. And now reverse. Try to lengthen your spine, sit tall and pull your belly button in. Lengthen your neck and slowly bring your arms down on your knees. Rotate your shoulders fully to four directions five times and reverse. Now slowly bring your head down and rotate your head to one side and come back to the other side. Back to the center one more time, slowly with your own breath. We're going to warm up a little bit before we come to the main exercise. Now come back, turn your head to your right and look down to your right shoulder. And then come back to the other side and back to the center. Bring your head to one side and start to rotate your head around your neck. Inhale halfway, exhale halfway. Slowly and reverse. Very good. And one more time. And slowly bring your head back to the center. Now bring your arm to the side again, shoulders down. Inhale, side bending, lean on one side. Exhale, come back to the other side. <sighs> Keep breathing and use your breath to control the movement. Very good. Five more times each side here with your own breath. Inhale. And exhale to the other side. Belly button in. In three, try to lengthen your arm and feel your waist is lengthening too. So keep breathing, slightly engage your core to protect your lower back. Very good. The last one. Last one to the other side and slowly back to the center. Hand on hand to the front and shoulders down. Lengthen your back. I wanted to inhale and rotate the torso to one side and come back to the center to the other side. Inhale and exhale. And four more times each side here with your own breath. So keep breathing. Very good. Three. To the other side and two. And the last one. To the other side and slowly back to the center. Open your arms to the side again and start to make a little pose. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now soften your elbows and round your spine slowly. Come, bring your arms to the front, and then open, inhale, and exhale, inhale, open, and three more times, here with your own breath, try to open your chest all the way, when you open your arms, and change your chest, roll your spine, to bring your arms to the front, slowly with your breath, now last one, and exhale, and slowly bring your arm to the side again. Lift your arms up, lengthen your spine, sit tall, and lift, and down, and up, and down for five more times. Stay with your own breath. Keep breathing. Four. Very good. Three. Two. And last one. And slowly bring your hands down, rotate your shoulders, and reverse. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. 
All right. Now I want you to inhale and interlace your fingers here. Keep your forearms parallel to each other. Now push your hands to one side and to the other side. Make sure you keep your forearm parallel to the floor here. And then bring it back one more time to the other side. Now get back to the center and then bring your hands down. I want you to rotate your wrist and reverse. And bring your hands down on your knees here. Articulate your spine, cat and core in sitting position. And roll your spine, chin to chest. Inhale. And exhale. Four more times, so with your own breath. Keep breathing. Three. Beautiful. Two. Articulate your spine. And last one. Roll your spine, chin your chest, and bring it back, back to neutral position. Now I'm on, I want you to do cat and curl, but in all four position. So come to all four and open your arms, shoulder apart, and your legs hang with apart here. Make sure your shoulders on top of your wrist, your hips on top of your knees, and pull the belly button in, lengthen your spine. Put your shoulders far away from your ears and look down to the mat. Now articulate your spine, put your shoulders down, inhale, look up. And exhale deeply through your mouth, chin to chest, round your spine, each vertebra at a time. We will do it four more times, say with your own breath, and do it really slow. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Try to reach your upper spine a little bit higher. And when you arch your back, pull your belly button in towards the spine to protect your lower back. And two more times here. Now for the last time, I want you to hold it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Articulate your spine, shoulders down. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your back back to neutral. Now keep your back lengthening. Imagining you have two eyes on the elbow here, rotate to face each other and put your shoulders far away from your ears, tuck your feet, inhale and lift your knees up, exhale, bring it down. We're going to do it 10 times so with your own breath. Inhale and exhale. And nine, eight, belly button in, seven, six, very good, five, four, three, two, and last one, you know, bring it down, show your hips. I want you to keep your heels and your knees together and now slowly put your shoulders far away from your ears. Lengthen your leg to the back. So, I want you to inhale, tuck your feet and lift your knee up again and bring it down 10 times so with your own breath. Keep breathing. Now, if you want more challenge here, you can always lift your leg up and lift your knees up and down and make sure that you always keep your shoulders on top of your wrist. I'm going to do it three more times with your own breath. Two. Belly button in. And the last one. And slowly bend your knees down. Shake your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose. And again to the other side. Tuck your feet. Inhale and lift your knee up. Exhale, bring it down. And lift and down. And again, if you want more challenge, just lift your leg up just above the hips. Lift and down. Keep breathing here with your own breath. Belly button in. Inhale, and exhale three more times. Two, and the last one. And slowly bring your knees down, come to try pose. You can rotate your wrist a little bit, and reverse, inhale deeply through your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now I want you to allow yourself to come, tap your feet here, and put your shoulders far away from your ears. Now inhale and lift your hips all the way up, shift, your hips up, bring your hips up and belly button in. Exhale, shift your weight to the front, shoulders on top of your wrist, bend your knees down, inhale, lift. And exhale down. <sighs> Engage your core as much as possible and don't bring your knees all the way down to the mat. Just keep it, keep them above the floor and then lift it up all the way as high as you can. Make sure you lengthen your neck. So look down to the mat when you shift your weight to the front. Look towards your heels when you bring your hips up. And five, four. 
try to speed up a little bit if you can and three more times say with your own breath two and did you call as much as possible last one lift and knee bends knees down come to try pose again rotate your ankle your wrist and reverse inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now the next movement i want you to allow yourself to put your forearms down to the mat lengthen your leg to the back and we come to own four i mean forearm plank here so lengthen your legs here put your shoulders on top of your elbows lengthen your neck and look down to the mat now inhale and engage your core bring your hips from left to right belly button in and we're going to do it 10 times each side with your own breath belly button in nine eight seven six five four three two very good last one and slowly back to center bend your knees hug your knees to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth very good and now the next movement i want you to again come to forearm flying again now this time lengthen your leg bring your hips a little bit lower if you can make sure you engage your core and don't arch your back here really keep a straight line a new natural curve for your spine belly button in lengthen your neck really pull the belly button towards the spine to protect your lower back hold it here for five more cows four three breathe naturally i mean deep breathing and don't hold your breath it's gonna help you to contract your core more and two and look, last one come to try pose inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth shake your hips all right now you want to allow yourself to lie all the way down on your stomach so open your legs here with the part like a pillow under your forehead and put your shoulders far away from your ears now activate your feet and lift one leg up to the other side i want you to really engage your core activate your feet and bring your legs towards each other and then open to the side you want to do it 10 times so with your own breath keep breathing if you can i want you to speed it up as quick as you can so really squeeze in the thighs and belly button in and get your core as much as possible very good make sure you stabilize your hips when you do this movement if you feel like your hips not stabilized yet then i want to just do it really slow until you can master the technique so really press your hip bones down to the mat squeeze in the thighs squeeze your booty muscles and really engage your core here and five four three two and last one slowly bring your legs down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose exhale deeply to your mouth now i want you to put your hand neck to your chest close your elbows all the way to the back and put your shoulders far away from your ears lengthen your neck look down to the mat and i want you to inhale press your hands down touch your feet here try to lift your whole body up just above the mat hold it here now if you're a bit beginner or if you feel like you want to modify it to make it easier bend your knees here and lift your torso up hold it here for five four engage your core back in neutral lengthen your neck shoulders far away from your ears and three two and one slowly bring it down shake your hips inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and one more deep breath inhale and exhale all right very good now i want you to inhale and bring your hands again behind uh, next to your chest close your elbow to the back we're going to do a very easy movement here lift your torso up engage your core and press your hips down Make sure that you stabilize your hips and keep them balanced. Squeeze your booty muscles, squeeze in the thighs. Inhale. Lengthen your neck and make sure you don't look towards the front. Always look down to the mat. And lengthen your spine here. Inhale. Press your hands down. Exhale, come back. 
Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. We're going to do it five more times. Stay with your own breath. Inhale. Exhale. And four. Squeeze your booty. You can plant that flex with your feet or you can dorsi flex as long as you keep them activated. And three more times with your own breath. Two. And last one. And slowly bring it down. Shake your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Alright. Now from here, I wanted to do a little bit more challenge here. Now put your hand next to your chest to close your elbow to the back. Lengthen your neck. Inhale and bring your torso up like the previous movement. But when you bring it down, lift your legs up at the same time. And then come back. Legs down, torso up. Legs up, torso down. So we do it with the control from your core, not from the momentum. I really want you to pull the belly button in. Inhale deeply through your nose, lift. Exhale deeply through your mouth. Legs up and down. Inhale and exhale. We're going to do it 10 more times with your own breath. Make sure you always keep your shoulders far away from your ears. Lengthen your neck. You lift your torso up, look towards the top of the mat. And bring your head down, look down to the mat. Inhale. And exhale. Engage your core and squeeze your body here. Do it really slow, as slow as you can. Very good. Make sure you use the thick enough mat here. Probably like 8 millimeter or 10 millimeter mat minimum because it's going to help a lot with your bones and joint. Very good. Keep breathing. And two, belly button all the way in. Contract your pelvic floor muscles. And the last one. Slowly bring your torso down, shake your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose. You can rotate your wrist a little bit here and then reverse. Exhale deeply through your mouth. All right. Now the next movement, I want you to bring lie down on your stomach or the body. Activate your feet. Bring your hand behind your head. Open your elbows wider and really push the shoulders towards your hips here. Now inhale, lift your torso up. Engage your core belly button in. Start to rotate your head to your right. Come back to your left. Bring it back and bring your torso down. Inhale, lift again. Engage your core. Rotate your head to both sides and then bring it down. Inhale. And bring it down. And engage your core. We're going to do it. Five more times with your own breath. Well, you button in. Make sure you always keep your shoulders far away from your ears. Two. And last one. Slowly bring it down. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, very good. Make sure that when you do this, you really pull the belly button in because we want to feel comfortable and really feel like the back is strengthening now make it quicker now i want you to interlace your fingers to the back and put your shoulders far away from your ears belly button in inhale use your arms to pull your torso up engage your core make sure you still lengthen your neck here and exhale slowly bring it down press your feet down press your hip bones down don't leave your legs up in this position but if you feel that your back is strong enough and you feel comfortable with your back you can lift it up and bring it down it's going to be more challenging so really make sure your body feel okay with that keep breathing squeeze your body squeeze in the thighs you know engage your core as much as possible really pull the belly button towards the spine and five more times here now try to make it as quick as you can four three two and last one and slowly bring it down, shake your hips. Inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Very good. Now I want you to allow yourself to bring your arms to the u ladder here. And lengthen your neck, lift your head and your shoulder off the mat. Now inhale and lift your arms and your legs up at the same time. Exhale, bring them down. Inhale, lift as high as you can. Exhale, bring it down. Engage your core as much as possible. Start to speed up for 10 nine eight 
seven as quick as you can but really listen to your lower back and pull the belly button to was the spine to protect the spine and two the last one and slowly bring it down rest your head on your hands shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose exhale deeply through your mouth very good now you need to allow yourself to open your legs hip width apart bring your arms over your head. now inhale lift your arms leg opposite leg and torso i mean head and shoulders up and slowly bring it down to your opposite side and then come back and we're going to do it a couple more times here if you want to make it more challenging lift both legs and arms at the same time so i want you to challenge yourself but again make sure you listen to your lower back here pull the belly button in really focus on your core and how you engage it and how you control the movement with your breath here you know and exhale and if you can speed it up feel like a superman here flying very good and six belly button in five if you feel uncomfortable with your lower back just go back to one and one leg and one arm at a time and three last one slowly bring it down inhale deeply to your nose exhale deeply to your mouth one more deep breath and exhale all right very good now you want to allow yourself to interlace your finger in front of your chest and put your shoulders far away from your ears really engage your core here now inhale and exhale double tap with one knee and then come back to the other side when you do this make sure that you stabilize your hips here and only your leg is moving keep breathing exhale and six more times with your own breath each side squeeze your booty press your hip bones down to the mat four to the other side three two and the last one and slowly bring your legs down come to try pose inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and one more deep breath and exhale all right now from here i want to allow yourself to sit along the mat now bring your hands behind your hips fingers point towards the front and close your elbow to the back put your shoulders far away from your ears and open your chest push your chest to the front belly button in lengthen your spine open your legs if you the part here now you can always soften your elbows if you need to it's gonna support your wrist more and put your shoulders far away from your ears now you want to inhale lift your hips up and exhale bring it down we're going to try to do it 10 times with your own breath keep breathing if you feel that like you can speed it up and make it even more challenging just feel free to do that so keep breathing inhale and exhale engage your core as much as possible make sure you always put your chin to chest and look towards the front even when you lift your hips up don't pull your chin up to the ceiling because it's gonna put a lot of pressure on your neck very good and five four belly button in three two my last one lift slowly bring it down put your forearms down to the mat shoulders on top of your elbows now I want you to bend your knees, one knee, and then lengthen one leg, activate your feet here. Belly button in, press your opposite foot down to the mat. And I want you to inhale, try to lift your hips a little bit just above the mat here. Put your shoulders down, far away from your ears and look towards the front. Inhale, lift your leg up, exhale, bring it down. Six more times with your own breath. Four, three, two, and the last one and slowly bring your hips down bend your opposite knee and lengthen the other leg we're going to do it as again for seven more seven times here so inhale lift and up and down and six five squeeze your thighs belly button in three two and the last one and slowly bring your hips down allow yourself to lie all the way down on your back 
So, I want to keep your arms along your body here. Lift your legs up to 90 degrees, activate your feet. Inhale and bring both legs down to the mat. Open, and then come back, and up. Then we just bring it down, walk to the side, and bring it back, and lift. Engage your core, keep your back in neutral position. Now, if you can make it a little bit quicker, then please do it. Inhale, and exhale, come back. And nine, eight, engage your core. Keep your shoulder blades down to the mat. Seven, belly button in. Six, and five more times. Say with your own breath. Four, make sure you engage your core as much as possible to support your lower back here. Squeeze your thighs. Keep the same angle on your knees. Don't change your knee angle and stabilize your hips. And three, squeeze your thighs. Two, very good. And last one, and slowly bring your knee to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth. Very good. Now the next movement, I want you to inhale, hug one knee. Lengthen your leg up to the ceiling and lengthen your opposite leg to 45 degrees here. Lift your head and your shoulder off the mat. Now inhale, exhale, switch and switch to the other side. And when you do this, press your hip bones down to the mat, your hips down, back, lower back stick down to the mat and one fist distant from your chin to your chest. Use your hand to pull your leg towards your chest more. Try to lengthen your other leg to the front as far as you can. Engage your core as much as possible. And again, you can always use your hand to support your head if you need to. Make sure you engage your core. And when you do it, speed it up. Quick a little bit if you can, or as quick as you can. Very good. And five, four. Stabilize your torso when you do this by pulling the belly button toward the spine and squeezing the thighs, contract your pelvic floor muscles. And three, two, last one. And slowly, head down, shoulders down, hug your knee to your chest, inhale deeply to your nose, exhale deeply through your mouth. One more deep breath, and exhale. Very good. Now I want you to allow yourself to lift your legs up to 90 degrees, activate your feet here. Open your arms to the side and now slowly inhale, lengthen your leg up and bring it down and lift and bend. If you want more support, you can always keep your arms along your body and make sure you always keep your back in neutral position here if you feel like you have quite strong a core that you want to challenge yourself a little bit today and you can just open your arms to the side we're going to do it 10 times together or if you can speed it up just feel free to do that now inhale lengthen down lift and bend lift engage your core as much as possible belly button in very good it make sure you always keep your back in neutral stabilize your hips if you feel like your back start to arch, then you don't have to bring your legs so low. Just really listen to your body and bring your arms back to along your body. Very good. In five, four, squeeze your thighs and belly button in. Three, two, inhale down, exhale up and bend. Last one, and slowly bring it back. Hug your knee to your chest, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, very good. Now I want you to keep your arms along your body here. Put one, bend one knee and put your foot down to the mat. The other leg lengthen all the way towards the ceiling. Now activate your feet. I want you to inhale, press your foot down, tuck the tailbone forward, and lift your hips as high as you can. Make sure you stabilize your hips here. Now inhale, bring your leg down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. And exhale, up. And try to do it as quick as you can. 
so I'm gonna count for 10 more. 9, belly button in, 8, 7, engage your core as much as possible, 5, 4, 3, very good, 2, and last one, and slowly bring it down, shake your hips, inhale deeply through your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. Now let's go to the other side, lengthen your leg, activate your foot, and press your opposite knee down to the mat, your foot down to the mat. Stabilize your hips, try to tuck the tailbone forward and lift it as high as you can. And again, bring your leg down and lift. Engage your core as much as possible. Squish your thighs and belly button in. Very good. And 10 more times here. 10, 9. Stabilize your hips and keep them balanced. Your torso balanced, press your whole shoulder blades down. Only your leg is moving. Very good. And five, four, three, two. Very good. Now last one. So slowly bring your hips down. Hug your knee to your chest. Inhale deeply through your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. All right. Now I want you to lengthen your legs up. Dorsi flex with your feet, both legs up. And engage your core here. Up. Bring your arms along the body and press your whole shoulder blades down to the mat. Try to lengthen your legs all the way up to the ceiling. If you feel like you cannot, you can always soften your knees a little bit here. With the, but when you movement, don't change the angle on your knees here. Always keep them the same angle. Now the next movement, I want you to inhale and try to bring your leg down. Open both legs to the side, come back and switch. So when you do this, make sure you stabilize your hips here. Only your legs are moving. Really keep your back in neutral position. We're going to do it 10 more times each side here with your own breath. And belly button in, keep breathing. Exhale every time you switch. Very good. And five to your left, four belly button in. The lower your leg is, the more challenging it is. So if you want to make it easy, just don't have to bring your legs so low. Really listen to your body here. Very good. And three to the other side, two. My legs are shaking right now and my core is shaking. Now last one, last one to the other side, back to the center, hug your knee to your chest. Inhale deeply through your nose, exhale deeply through your mouth. Very good. Now I want you to allow yourself to lift your legs up to 90 degrees, open your arms to the side, activate your feet here. And I want you to inhale, bring both legs down to the mat, open your knee, come back and lift. So again, if you want to make it easier, bring your arms along your body and make sure you always keep your back in neutral position. Don't arch your back here. Inhale down and open. Exhale, come back and lift. Now if you want to make it even easier, you can just lift each leg at a time up, right and left, and then bring it down both at the same time. Open your knees, come back, beautiful. So engage your core as much as possible, squish your thighs. I want you to, when you close your legs, I want you to bring it in towards the center with control. That means you squeeze your inner thighs, contract your pelvic floor muscles and do it with your breath. Inhale, exhale, inhale down and open, exhale come back and lift and five more times still with your own breath. Control your pelvic floor muscles, engage your core as much as possible. Three, belly button in, back in neutral always. Two, and last one. And hug your knee to your chest. Inhale deeply, shake your hips. Exhale deeply. All right, now the next movement, I wanted to allow yourself to lengthen your legs up to 90 degree dorsiflex with your feet. Now bring your hands to the front towards the 
heels here and palms facing each other. Lift your head and your shoulder off the mat. Now inhale, make sure you keep on feet distant from your chin to your chest here. So lift your shoulders a little bit higher and always use your hand to support your head if you need to. Otherwise, just try to reach your shoulders a little bit higher to really feel your six-pack abs. Now, we're going to push your legs away and then come back. Inhale. Exhale, come back. And if you can, try to speed it up and still stabilize your torso here. We're going to do it 10 more times with your own breath. Keep breathing to it, modify it to make it easier. Just Bring each leg to the front at a time. Really listen to your body here. Feel your lower abs. Feel your core. Keep breathing. Stick your lower back down to the mat. And five, four, three. Very good. Almost done. Two. Now last one. Slowly bring your head and shoulders down. Hug your knee to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose. Exhale deeply to your mouth. Very good. Now the next movement, just bring your legs up to 90 degrees again, Darcy flex with your feet and arms along your body, press your shoulder blades down. I want you to inhale and lengthen both legs, start to open your leg to the side and bring it back. Open, bring it back. So really make sure that you keep your back in neutral here. If you feel like your back is arching, you can just lift your legs a little bit higher, like 60 degrees or even if you can just bring it all the way up to the ceiling to make it really easy. But I wanted to feel your core. So really try to bring it as low as you can, as long as your lower back in neutral position. Very good, inhale and exhale in five, four. Speed it up if you can, three, two, and last one. And slowly have your knee to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. Very good. Now I want you to allow yourself to lift your legs up to 90 degrees again. Darcy, flex with your feet. And now hug your hand, hug your shin with your hands here. Bend your knees and bring your knees towards your chest. Lift your head and your shoulder off the mat. Now inhale, lengthen your leg. Exhale, come back. So you can rather just keep your hands like this. Or if you want to make it more challenging, lengthen your arms to over your head and extend it to hug your shin again. Inhale and exhale. We're going to do it as quick as you can or you can just keep your arms here and then bring your legs forward and then come back. And seven, six, five. For each count, I'm going to do twice. So. It really depends on you. You just listen to your body and do which speed that suits you. And two, the last one, the very last one. And bring your head and shoulders down. Hug your knee to your chest. Inhale deeply through your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. One more deep breath. And exhale. Press your feet down, open your legs a little apart here. Bring your hands to support your head. Lift your head and your shoulder off the mat. Now, I see a lot of you guys just always close your elbows to the front like this. And for, I suggest that you just open your elbows wider and really push your shoulders towards your hips here. So now we're going to do crunch up. Inhale, press your feet down. Make sure when you lift your shoulders up, your knees not towards each other or open wider. Just really keep the same distance on your knees here. So exhale, lift, <sighs> inhale down, open your elbows wider, I try to do it all the time. Exhale and inhale down, <sighs> exhale through your mouth, <sighs> inhale through your nose. Now try to lift your chest up, not your neck. So try to not keep any force from your hand to lift your chest, your hands just be there to support your neck, not to lift it up. Very good. And five, four. Try to lift a little bit higher to really feel your six leg abs here. In three, two, and last one. Slowly bring your head down. Inhale deeply through your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. Very good. 
No one is allow yourself to lift or leg up to 90 degree here. Activate your foot. Now lift your head and shoulder off the mat and use your hand to support your head again. Now this time we're gonna do 10 times each side. So when you lift your chest up high, you can bring your knee towards your chest. And when you bring your head down a little bit lower, you lengthen your leg to the front. So exhale, reach, <sighs> inhale down. And make sure you always not close your elbows here. Try to bring your chest a little bit higher and you need to watch your chest more to really feel your core here. And six, five, four, three, really focus on your core here. Two, and the last one, bring your leg down, shake your hips, inhale deeply through your nose, exhale deeply through your mouth and 10 times to the other side. So again, lift your leg up, activate your foot, press your opposite foot down, lift your head and your shoulders off the mat, open your elbows wider, and we'll do it again. Exhale, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lift, inhale, lengthen. Engage your core as much as possible. And make sure you always really focus on your belly here. Reach your chest up and focus on that, not your neck. Very good, keep breathing. And six, five, four, belly button in three, two, and last one. And slowly bring your leg down. Hug your knee to your chest. Inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right. Now I want you to allow yourself to lift your legs all the way up to the ceiling. Activate your feet here. And then slowly bring your hands towards your heels. Now I want you to inhale and bring your legs further towards the hands and then bring it to the opposite way and exhale, inhale, move, exhale, come back, inhale, move. Now the lower your legs are, the more challenging your core is. So I want you to try to challenge yourself here, but make sure you always stabilize your hips, activate your feet and keep your hips balanced. Stabilize your torso as well. Squeeze your booty if you can, squeeze in your thighs. Contract your pelvic floor muscles all at the same time. Very good. In five, four, three, belly button in. Two, don't arch your back, keep your back in neutral curve. And last one. And slowly hug your knee to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, very good. Now bring your legs up to 90 degree. Dorsi flex with your feet. Arms along your body. Press your hands, your shoulder blades down to the mat. Now you want to inhale and lengthen one leg to the front. And then lengthen one leg up to the ceiling. And then bend. And lengthen. And bend. So easy movement. So we're going to recharge the energy a little bit before we come to the other challenge beautiful six more times inhale and exhale dorsiflex with your feet always bend and lengthen and bend and lengthen and two more times with your own breath now last one and slowly bring your legs down shake your hips now we're going to do it to the other side so lift your leg up again dorsiflex and your feet dorsiflex inhale lengthen both legs, one leg up to the ceiling and one leg to the front. Really engage your core here, belly button in. Lengthen and come back. Hip stabilized in five, four, three. Try to lengthen your leg all the way up. Two, and last one. And slowly bring your legs down. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right. Now one foot distant from your heel to your hips, open your legs a bit apart and tap your tailbone forward. Draw your hips up, reaching, reach your hand towards your heels here and slowly draw your hips down, your back down each vertebra at a time. Inhale, lift, squeeze your booty, squeeze in your thighs. Try to reach your hips as high as you can until you really feel your booty muscles and then slowly bring it down with the exhalation. Inhale up and exhale down. Press your feet down. Try not to move your knees. Change the distance from your knees anytime. Just really stay the same distance. 
and keep breathing in her lid. Exhale down and four. Come back slowly. Three. Belly button in. Two. And the last one. And slowly bring it down. Now when it's up again, draw your hips all the way up and hold it here. Stabilize your hips. Keep them stable there. And then lift your heels up and down. Ten times with your own breath. Nine. Belly button in, squeezing the thighs. Eight. Seven. Six. And five. Four. Three. Two. And last one. And slowly draw your hips down, shake your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Very good. Now I want you to bring your legs up to 90 degrees. Activate your feet here. And slowly inhale, bring one knee to chest and lengthen one leg to the front. And switch. We're going to do it as quick as you can in 10 cars. And start. 10. 9. It. I'm going to do four times for each card. So you could try to catch it up or you can, if you can do it quicker, that's great. And if you feel like it's easier for you to just do it as low as you, you want, just feel free to do that too. What we feel about the movement is more important. Very good. Keep breathing. And six. Five, belly button in, stabilize your torso. Four, three, two. Try to bring your knee towards your chest a little bit more. Last one. And slowly bring your knees down, hug your knee to your chest. Inhale deeply, rotate your ankle and reverse. Exhale deeply. All right, very good. Now I wanted to allow yourself to lift your legs up to 90 degrees and dorsiflex flex with your feet here. Open your arms to the side. Inhale, open your legs. Exhale, come back. Inhale and exhale. And five more times with your own breath. Four, three. Position the thighs, bring it back with control. And last one. And slowly bring your legs down. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right. Now I want us to keep your heels and your knees together, length one leg to 45 degree. Lift your head and your shoulder off the mat. Now arms along your body. And I want you to start to pump in your arms here. 10. <laughs> Inhale, 2, 3, 4, 5. Exhale, 2, 3, 4, 5. Inhale. Exhale. And change to the other side. And make sure that you do that when you always keep one fist distant from your chin to your chest. Lift your chest even higher. Always use your hand to support your neck if you feel like you need more support with your neck muscles. Now, if you want to make it more harder, just lengthen both legs up and engage your core. Press your lower back down. Belly button in. Inhale. Two. Three. Four. Five. Eight. Minute six. I'm going to reach to ten. So keep breathing. Very good, guys. Since we do a lot, we're not going to call it the 100 anymore. We're going to call it the 15, no, the 150. <laughs> Very good. Keep breathing. <laughs> Last breath. Head down, hug your knees to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply to your mouth. <sighs> Very good, guys. Now I want to deep inhale one more time. And exhale. And another one. And exhale. All right, very good. Now the next movement, I want you to keep your arms along your body here. 
Now, lift your legs up to 90 degrees here, really engage your core. If you want to make it easier, you can always bring your knee towards the chest, like closer, as close as you can. We're going to try to lift the hips up. But using your core, bring your legs up parallel to the floor and dorsiflex with your feet. Press your whole arms and shoulder blades down and bring your hips down, each vertebra at a time. Now, if you feel like it's a little bit difficult for you, if you're a beginner, you don't have to reach to that point that, and no worry about that because you're going to build up your strength gradually. So trust me, just do it a little as like time by time it's going to get better. So now, if you're a beginner, just lift your hips up like this and or just even just about the match, it's okay to just really listen to your body, arms along your body. Otherwise, if you want to make it harder, just lift it up, dorsiflex, flex, and each vertebra at a time, really pull the belly button in to bring it down, chin to chest to protect your neck. And five more times with your own breath. Inhale, and belly button in. <sighs> Exhale, each vertebra at a time down. Try to be going down really slow and use the core to control that, not just bring it down very quick. It's not going to work your muscles a lot. Now inhale, lift. And exhale down. <sighs> very good. Three. Dorsiflex. Two. Now last one. And slowly have your knee to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Very good. And now I wanted to lean on one side to sit up. Alright. Now I wanted to lengthen your legs and open your legs here with a pad here. So lengthen your spine, sit tall, and pull your belly button in. Now bring your hands to the front, palms facing each other. Slide back to open your chest. Pull the belly button in, inhale, lean backward, push your chest up, and exhale, back to the center. So don't have to move so far, just really listen to your body here, inhale, and exhale. If you want to make it easier, just bend your knees, press your feet down, inhale, and exhale, come back, and four, three, two, very good. Now last one, hold it here. Now try to open your chest up, pull the belly button in, rotate the torso to one side, come back to the other side, bring it back, and four more times, stay with your own breath. Four more times each side, I mean. Very good, and three, two, use the breath to control the movement. And last one, and back to the center. Hug your knee to your chest, inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply to your mouth. Very good. Now I want to lengthen your spine again, lengthen your legs again. Dorsi flex with your feet. Bring your arms to the front, palms facing down. Now inhale and exhale, reach your hands forward. Really engage your core, chin to chest, and reach vertebra at a time back. Lengthen your spine, drop your shoulders, sit tall again. Exhale, reach. And inhale, come back slowly. Try to reach a little bit more. Let someone pulling your arms away from your shoulders. Lengthen your arms here and then come back, drop your shoulders. We're gonna do it five more times with your own breath. Make sure you always lengthen your neck here. Four. <sighs> Exhale every time you flex forward. Three. Belly button in. Two. And last one, and slowly, shoulders down, hands down, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply to your mouth, <sighs> very good. Now you're going to open your arms to the side, soften your elbows, and now if you feel like a little bit hard to lengthen your neck, you can always use a pillow to sit on it for more support, a yoga block, a book, uh, whatever you can find. So, or you can just bend your knees like this to make it easier, otherwise you can just try to Press your feet, your feet down to the mat and lengthen your legs here. Lengthen your spine, rotate, inhale, and flex forward, exhale. Inhale, come back and twist. 
exhale flex forward inhale come back and twist exhale flex to the other side very good inhale exhale squeeze in your thighs and make sure that when you move and when you rotate your sitting bones down to the mat you try to lengthen and reach a little bit further to the other side of your ankle so your legs are stabilized your hips are stabilized only your torso is moving and rotating very good we're gonna do it five more times each side make sure you use your core to roll back and bring your torso back to the center four to the other side and three very good guys keep breathing we're almost done very close two get your car as much as possible and last one to the other side and slowly bring it back hands down rotate your shoulders and reverse inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now you want to allow yourself to keep your feet together so you can always put your feet further away from your hips if you feel that it's easier and more comfortable for you or just try to find the position that you feel comfortable here the most and then bring your hands behind your hips close your elbow to the back again now inhale and lift your hips up and exhale bring it down so you can always soften your elbows if you need to make sure you close your elbow to the back and put your shoulders far away from your ears don't make any tension in your shoulder like this just really push it down and keep it far away from the ears inhale lift your hips up exhale bring it down 10 times so with your own breath don't have to bring it too high look towards the front just bring it to the point that you feel like you're okay with that and it's still challenging with you very good keep breathing and four soften your elbows a little bit if you need to three two slowly and always stabilize your hips keep them balanced and last one and slowly bring it down close your knees towards each other bend your knees tuck your knees to your chest inhale deeply to your nose you can rotate the wrist a little bit if you need to and then reverse exhale deeply through your mouth all right now when you to allow yourself to lengthen your spine open your legs a bit apart again and then bring your arms to the front palms facing each other now slide back your shoulders to open your chest and push your chest to the front really engage your core here back in neutral position now lean backward and again push your chest up always lift your arms a little bit higher so your arms parallel with your upper leg lengthen your leg up bring it down to your opposite side come back we're gonna do it as quick as you can but i want you to make sure that you lengthen your leg all the way up before you bring it down so make a really precise movement here so if you need to make it slow in order to get it straight before you bring it down let's do it i really want you to challenge yourself and really feel your core here Press all the way up lengthen your spine and eight seven six shoulders down chest open but arm parallel to upper leg squeeze in your thighs contract your pelvic floor muscles here and look towards the front always really pull the belly button in to support your lower back very good in three two and one very good and slowly bring it down again into your chest somehow every time i do this i just imagining that i'm doing ballet <laughs> all right very good inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth shake your hips inhale and exhale all right now you want to allow yourself to lean on one side bend your knee press your forearm down shoulder on top of your elbow here and bend your bottom knee here to the front so keep your knee 90 degree and your hips square here and now i want you to inhale bring your head behind your hand behind your head lift your leg up lift your waist up and get your core as much as possible and shoulders down and start to rotate your leg 10 9 8 7 6 five four belly button in two and one and slowly bring your leg down and lift and down and up try to open your elbows wider 
Very good. And seven more times here. Six, squeezing the thighs. Five, pressure forearm down. Really engage your core. Pressure lower, leg down to the mat. Try to lift your top leg as high as you can. And two, and the last one, slowly come to the other side. Very good, guys. We're almost done. Just a few more minutes, so stay tuned and try to complete till the end because I know you can do that. Now again, activate your foot, forearm down, shoulder on top of your elbow and hand behind your head. Now again, inhale and lift your leg just above the hip. Start to rotate your leg here without changing or flat to edge your hips. Really keep your hips stabilized and balanced. Beautiful. Keep breathing here in five, four, three, two, and one, slowly bring your leg down and lift it as high as you can and come back. Belly button in, inhale and exhale. And six, five, engage your core, try to lift your legs as high as you can, really feel your legs shaking and your core really engaging here. And four, three, very good guys, almost done, two, and the last one, slowly bring it down. Sit up and hug your knee to your chest. Inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now a few minutes for stretching before we complete. And it's more, very important because we work quite hard today. I really want you to complete this. So open your legs in width apart. And then flex. bring your hand to the front as much as you can. Now open your legs just as wide as you can, but really listen to your body. We don't have to like open it all the way up. Just really listen to your body. We're going to stretch your hips a little bit here. And then walk your hand to one side, feel your hamstring here. And to the other side. And come back to the center. Bend both knees, keep your feet together. Try to bring your heels towards your hips as close as you can. Now open your knees wider, lengthen your spine, sit tall. Start to pump in your knees. Inhale deeply through your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. And slowly stop. Walk your hand towards the front as far as you can. Slightly flex your spine, slightly engage your core to support your lower back. In four, three, two, one. Walk your hands to one side. Feel your hips stretching again. Knees wide open. And to the other side. And back to the center. Inhale. Lengthen your spine. Cross your leg now. Exhale deeply through your mouth. Open your arm to the side. Now you want to inhale. Lean on one side. Side bending. Exhale. Come back. Inhale to the other side. And exhale. Bring it back. And four more times. Each side here with your own breath. Three. Very good. Keep breathing. Two. Belly button in. And last one. Slowly back to the center. Now put your hand on opposite knee. Rotate the torso to the back and try to walk your hand a little bit further. Feel your oblique twisting to the other side. And back to the center. Articulate your spine. Inhale, look up. And rise your spine, chin to chest. In three. Two. And last one. And bring it back to the center. Lengthen your spine. Bring your head to one side. Depress your opposite shoulder so you're going to feel the side of your neck is stretching more. And you can use your hand to pull your head a little bit further if you want. Now slightly rotate your head, look down to the mat. And bring it back slowly to the other side. And down, look down to the mat. And come back. Now make a full circle around your neck. Still sit tall and lengthen your spine here. Open your chest. Three, three rounds in total. And now reverse. And 
and lengthen your spine. Inhale deeply through your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. Inhale and exhale. Very good. And now I want to, to interlace your finger, keep your forearms parallel to the floor. We're gonna push to one side again, just like how we begin the exercise today. And to your opposite side. And back to the center, reach up and down to the side, reach to both sides like someone pulling your hands away from your shoulders and reach your hands to one side and to the other side and one more time to the other side and back to the center, soften your elbows, close your arms to the front and then open and close and open and bring your hands down, rotate your shoulders and reverse. Inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. And that's the work of today. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you have any workout requests, please let me know. Comment below. I'm going to try to do it every Friday. And I post daily videos. So check out my channel for other workouts and also vlog if you want to know more about me. Hope to see you tomorrow. Bye.